Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana has made it above a very, very important resistance level and we're going to take a look at that in a minute. Overall, here Solana after its impulsive move up to new all-time highs, it has now been in a correction since November. And since then it has really come down quite a lot. It has retraced down a little bit lower than the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level that is at $100. And as always the most relevant Fibonacci retracement level. It did come into this target area in green that we've had on the chart since um, since November. And here was a big, big opportunity to turn around. It currently is turning around, or at least it seems like it. But as I said, I still believe lower prices. It currently seems like it is making higher lows, which in the end it is at the moment. Um, and there is no guarantee it's turning around yet. I think it still has a lot of space for further downside and I would still expect the 55 US dollar level that hasn't changed. That is also why for channel members I have not changed my buy orders yet. We are anyway at the moment sort of in buy order range anyway. Um, Two dollar cost average in at this swing low and then to take profits at the next major swing high. And if you want to see these buy and sell orders then check out the channel membership. They will be adapted regularly and changed but for now there was no reason, even not when we moved all the way up to $145. A lot of people asked me, do you change your buy orders? No, I didn't, because there was still so much of an opportunity and the likelihood to come down once more. And yeah, we came down to $95 again. So again, this green area is the area that we talked about for months. This is where I expect the turnaround in the end to go back to new all time highs. However, we need to say very clearly that there is still a lot of space in that target area. And the way the chart and the price came down here recently in April, beginning of April, it is looking very, very corrective. Yeah, it's looking uh, very, no, sorry, very impulsive to the downside. Okay, so that means that there is a good chance we continue that impulse further down in the next move. But for now, as I also regularly make you aware, short term, Upside potential is, of course, always possible because markets move in waves. So even in a downtrend, you can see these moves up, for example, from $95 to $110. US dollars. And that is when, um, well, yeah, when we just need a bit of a, um, a correction to the upside and uh, or when the market is turning bullish short term, you know, all of this is possible. And we talked about if Solana manages to get above 105 US dollar level, um, about that above that level, then it is worth to look, to take a closer look at the chart. Because yesterday with yesterday's, no, sorry, with the candle the day before yesterday, the price moved above that 105 US dollar level. We then retested yesterday. However, we are currently not able to really move away from that again. This is the lower level of that, um, zone here because prices are usually forming a zone and $105 we retested yeah but we are currently not really able to get away from that we would need now to see a bit of a bullish confirmation candle let's see if we see something on the shorter time frame and here you know we retested we came down to that level again and you can see it better on the shorter time frame um, then we saw a bullish engulfing but now that candle here at the moment is quite negative again. So for me, this is still of course possible now to move higher, especially as you haven't really made a lower price now than the, I mean, this could now turn into a bearish engulfing. So it just happens, right? Even a bullish engulfing isn't right 100% of the time. It maybe is 60%, 70%. Yeah, it is all about likelihoods. It is a possible buy signal. Um, in the short term, we're only talking about the short term here. But what is so important now is that the price is moving away from that support level. Good to see that we had that retest. That is actually what you expect. That is what has to happen anyway. The bit of a problem concern about that red candle. But again, we are still making higher lows here at the moment on the candlestick chart on the four hour. And therefore, um, it would be at the moment, at least until we hold and as long as we hold the $105 level, it would be expected to move higher. And then the price target for that would first of all be the previous rejection point, 110, but then ideally the 122 US dollar level. It's absolutely possible we reach that in this current scenario. 122 would be my price target for this move, where we then need to see how the price is reacting to it, provided 
the price can move away from the 105 US dollar level. Um, at the, but generally, <clears throat> generally we are not in a confirmed uptrend yet overall. And generally there is still a big, big risk. We dip once more deeper into this general target area, into this huge target area between the 88.7% FIB level and the 61.8% FIB level at $100. So it starts at 30, goes up to 100. And if we talk about um, how would it react to another Bitcoin drop into my target area, you know, if you know my Bitcoin videos, you will know my my view about where Bitcoin is going to land. And I think in that scenario, if Bitcoin really does another 40, 50%, 40% maybe sell off, it, in my opinion, is going to land here. Solana in the region between 30, 30 and $55. Yeah, hopefully it can hold 55. That would be the 78.6% FIP level, an ideal retracement for that second wave. It would, um, yeah, it would make sense and then turn around here and go to new all time highs. Overall, we can see still declining volume, even here on the four hour chart, you can see that decline in volume still. I don't really have that peak. We had a little bit of a, an increase, but overall you still don't really get that volume that we want to see for a sustainable uptrend. Uh, let's go to the daily chart. What we see here on the daily is that in line with what I just told you, that we could really see here a bullish crossover that we move up to $122 that would be supported by a MACD bullish crossover that is coming. We're still a few days away from it if it happens, but we are on a way because we are reducing negative momentum at the moment, indicating the bulls are getting a bit stronger here. Here on the RSI tried to move into the, in the, into the bullish range on above 50. We haven't done it. So this is a reason for concern a little bit because it just shows how corrective we still are. We're not clearly in positive. We're not really pushing higher. So, we need to get above 50, in my opinion, on the RSI. You can still see how we are currently fighting around that $105 level, how we're currently trying to really hold that level, how the bulls are really trying to hold, and that is so crucial to hold the level. Um, generally, for a long-term swing trader or investor, personally, I find these, and that is why I buy at the moment, I find these levels here attractive at the moment, long-term, medium-term, but everybody who's buying now needs to assume that or needs to know that at least I expect lower prices still. But we also have to say very clearly that in here, anywhere in the green area, there is a potential for Solana to turn around because it has done the minimum requirements for the correction. So it can turn around and start a new uptrend into new all-time high territory. It can do that, which doesn't mean it needs to do that. Because if I look at the chart structure, I'm not convinced yet. So all of this needs to fit together, right? So currently again at $106 and in the short term, therefore it seems at the moment at least that we are starting to move away from that trend line. That would be what you would traditionally or classically expect after such a retest. But the structure is concerning, even here in the short term. You see it now, you make a very, very strong move down because we had that um, engulfing candle on the daily, or I think yeah, it was a daily or the four hour chart. Come down here, retest, that's fine, but now, this doesn't look good here. You know, you move higher, higher, low, yes. You move higher, can't really get through that level again. The bulls are too weak at the moment. And then you make a lower high, but uh, a higher low. But yeah, let's see. This could form an ascending triangle, but it doesn't really look great. It, you, you normally, if you want to retest here, you need to move away from it um, at the moment. Even though we're holding the 105, it looks a bit concerning. The bulls don't seem to be that strong at the moment here on the one hour chart at least. And you can even see here another that the uh, bullish crossover on the one hour has been avoided, which isn't a good sign. It is not a good sign. Okay, well, that is my view about Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.